Hey, this is Phil Stukenborg on the Tiger football beat. Well, September began with several coaches in Conference USA on the hot seat, but Mark Snyder of Marshall beat Memphis, Neil Calloway of UAB upset Southern Miss last week, and last weekend UTEP pulled off the biggest upset in Conference USA by defeating number 12 Houston. Can Tommy West get off the hot seat this weekend? He's running out of time, but for the Tigers, they do get Curtis Steele back at 100%. Curtis played last week against UCF, but he wasn't at top speed. He should be this week. Tigers will go with Will Hudgens at quarterback. Will will become the third different starter for the Tigers this year. He'll be replacing Tyler Bass, whose shoulder problems will probably keep him out of this game. Will Hudgens has the ability to throw the ball deep, and that's something this Tiger offense desperately needs. Duke Calhoun has had three straight 100-yard games. A fourth one would go a long way for helping the Tigers get the win. UTEP's Donald Buckram will be tough for the Tigers to stop. He rushed for 262 yards last week against Houston and was named the National Player of the Week. Also, UTEP quarterback Trevor Vitito is considered the second best quarterback in the league behind Case Keenum of Houston, and he's beginning to play that way. So in Memphis's favor this weekend against UTEP is Tiger coach Tommy West's record against the Miners. He's 2-0 against UTEP since the Miners joined Conference USA, and he's 3-0 all-time against UTEP, getting a win when he was at Clemson back in the 90s. For Appeal TV, this is Phil Stukenborg on the Tiger football beat.